Hey guys and welcome to the Bayern View. Hopefully you guys are all doing well. In this particular video we're going to be talking about Zhang Wu Young, I believe is how you say his name, uh, and Bayern looking at maybe bringing him back to the club. With that said though, if you're going to enjoy the video, please smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. At the time of recording this, uh, I'm not 100% sure if we've hit it or not, uh, but we're very close to students to 200 subscribers so if you guys could help out uh, and you want to see content from this um, Bayern Munich fan channel join in get in this brilliant community that we're building all here collectively and uh, yeah join it by hitting that big red subscribe button but let's get into this right so how Bayern Munich could bring back a former player to the club Bayern Munich are considering bringing former academy player Yu Wong Young again if I butchered that, I apologise. Uh, back to the club, according to Sky Sports News. Uh, Young uh, previously made two first team appearances before uh, joining um, Freiburg in the summer of 2019. The South Korean has since gone on to establish himself as a regular starter at the Europe Europa Park Stadium. I don't know what's going on with the lights. I apologise. Give me one second. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really too sure what was Apologise for that, but let's carry on. Um, so, yeah, he's basically established himself. Obviously, we let him go in 2019, um, you know, and we're looking to bring him back. So, let's carry on. So, it says, um, but the deal... Um, the deal to sell him to Freiburg contained a, a 10 million buyback option, which Bayern are reportedly considering triggering in the summer. The 22-year-old winger has scored eight times since joining um, Freiburg, four of which have come this season. Uh, he is also said to be interested um, interest to Hoffenheim and a number of Premier League clubs. Uh, so yeah, he's a young 22-year-old Asian player. I believe he said he was South Korean. A uh, yeah, South Korean young Asian player. Um, you know, obviously was in our ranks. Bayern, being Bayern, being a smart club that we are, not trying to blow smoke up a Brazos ass, let's not get it twisted, but um, put in there that we have a buyback clause of 10 million euros. So if we want him, um, it's not a first refusal, but um, other clubs will probably have to pay more. We don't because obviously that's the point of putting it in the contract. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Would you like to see... Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. My bad. Um, would you like to see uh, Zhuang Hu Young come back to the club um, on a permanent basis and, and trigger that clause? Now, I, I did say uh, and did make a video um, about, not obviously this is the video for this particular player that I'm making it about, but um, a couple of days ago about Bayern looking to make a massive signing. Now, it doesn't look like we're going to... Um, spend any money really in this particular window right this second in January. I'm not too sure when you guys will be watching this. If you are watching it in 22 or obviously the video will be up there for 23, 24, so on. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too sure when you're viewing this, but um, at the time of recording this, uh, Wednesday the 12th of January 2022, um, we haven't signed anyone. So are we going to? I'm not 100% sure. I, I generally feel Brazo and Oliver Kahn and, and all of these um, higher ups in Bayern um, are looking to just do deals with the players we already have. Kingsley Coman, I made the video re uh, earlier today. Uh, thank you for the cost of support on that one. We've signed Coman. We've got him on a brand new deal. I believe it was a five-year deal. Yes, he's earning a lot of money, but for five years, to be fair, is it that much money? Um, um, but yeah, whatever. Um, you know, there's that. It looks like now we're probably going to push for Sula. Uh, Gnabry is definitely another one they want to tie down, and as well as Robert Lewandowski. Obviously, he's been linked to various uh, big clubs in the Premier League, and then obviously Real Madrid, as per usual. Um, so, yeah, there's that. But let's carry on and talking about uh, Zhuang uh, Wu Young. Uh, again, if I butcher his name, I apologise. He is uh, 22. Uh, he's a midfielder, so he plays in the midfield. A South Korean player, played 18 out of 18 matches for uh, the Bundesliga, only scoring four goals, which I guess isn't too bad. Uh, obviously, he's not ripping it up, but um, for 10 million, a buyback clause, is it really that bad? Um, to be perfectly honest, and I generally do feel, uh, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments, but I generally do feel we are going to bring him back. He's not going to be a star. Let's not get it twisted, you know. That's, that's not hate on the lad, uh, but at the same time, he'll be coming back to sit on the bench uh, and then have various appearances. Uh, and you remember, we're in the Champions League, we're in the 
the Bundesliga, and we're also in the the, the Pokal, uh, the normally win, you know, win the cup. So, um, you know, we're not always going to face the best opposition. People always like to slander and throw slander and shade on the Bundesliga because you know there isn't much challenge. Uh, but realistically, that's not Bayern's fault. That's because of the other clubs just not doing great business or not doing very well uh, in their games. With that said, though, I would generally for ten million now if. If it's saying, you know, um, that it's going to stop us getting various other players, then maybe not. But again, if we are going to go and get a massive, massive signing and then maybe a couple of other players, I can generally see Bayern going and sign a big, big player. I don't know who. Probably the main one people are going to be looking at is Haaland, obviously. Um, but we'll see whatever what happens with that one. Um, but for me personally... Uh, whoever we sign, it'll be a big sign and I can generally see that. And then I can generally see us maybe picking up one or two players on a free. Uh, I don't know who they're going to be. I'm hoping one of them is Ginter um, or Rudiger. I definitely feel like we need a centre-back. Obviously, we need a right-back. Dest, uh, 20 to 30 million euros um, could be a player we bring in. And then maybe we bring in um, Wu Young. Maybe we bring him in. Um, you know, 10 million, very young player. Obviously, was in our academy, made two appearances for us. Uh, and maybe... Um, you know, push on because let's be realistic. Our bench isn't uh, the greatest, and also look what's happened in with COVID. We need other players to step up. You know, the young, the two young lads that did come on uh, uh, the past weekend. You know, they did well, and we need to see more of this young talent coming through. Obviously, we sold him, but we put in the option there. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, to bring him back. 10 million. We've got it in the contract. Um, so would you bring him back? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. He scored four goals for Freiburg. Let me know what you think. And um, again, he's not going to ever take out Komen, Gnabry or Sane, is he? No. It, is he going to take out any of the other midfielders, Goretzka um, or um, Kimmich? No. But he could be a good option. Let's just say that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Smash the thumbs up button. Again, let me know what you think. The Bayern View always keep the comment section open so you can have your view on the Bayern View just below this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't uh, already and you're new. Uh, again, daily videos, if not more than one video a day. Uh, and then we're obviously at the weekend and various other games now, Champions League uh, and in the Bundesliga, I'll be streaming all of the games here on the Bayern View. So yeah, make sure to support it. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys. Um, if anything breaks, I'll make a video. But if not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Me and Samir. Peace out, guys.